Welcome to my video on how to adjust your bridle for the first time once you've put it together. Thank you very much Samantha for asking this question on a previous video that I did on a putting together a snaffle bridle step by step. So I'm just going to show you. I have adjusted these straps. This is Shrek's work bridle. These straps are all, I've just put them all on number three on the hole. Uh, so he's, he's a 15.3 hands high thoroughbred, but he's got a bit of a smaller head compared to like Teddy and Jesse who are 16 hand high horses. They have much bigger heads and they, they go down the straps in the holes, but the smaller horses, they go up the straps, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to share with you, can you come over here, please? I've been feeding him licorice to bribe him just to <laughs> help me out and be my model today. I don't, I'm sorry. I've got no food here. No food. Okay, let's just take this off for a second. So it's easier to see. Easier to see. Okay. We need you here for the camera, please. So, fingers like this, grab other fingers like so, and you put them in, give a little squeeze if you have to. Some horses you don't have to. Over the ears, pull the hair of the forelock through. Okay, so I'll bring the camera over show you it's very very loose in his mouth and this is wrong it's not the right size thank you oh i know i know you just hang on to it for a second you see can you see how loose that is in his bit in his mouth really bad and there's no rings no creases here so this is our the bit strap the cheek strap for the bit we're gonna go up two holes because on this bridle i know i've got that wear mark there but I recommend when you are adjusting it for the very first time, go up one hole on either side so that you're going up slowly, slowly. You're not in small incremental size adjustments, not huge drastic ones. Can you see how there's two creases in his, in his skin here? One, two. So that's what we want. That's the ideal fit for our horse two to three wrinkles and that's the ideal fit for the bit in the bridle in the mouth so now let's do his nose band and again the same rule applies go up one hole at a time either side for the nose band but there's no either side it's just a one on this particular bridle there's just one one side that you got to adjust the holes on on this one he's all the way up the tip top and make sure that if you've got a bridle with a nose band on it just run your fingers down the front of his nose and here is where his nostrils open up the skin the bone structure of his nostrils uh, is exposed so when you run your fingers down the front of his face you will feel the divot in the bone structure disappear because it it doesn't grow there it's just soft tissue uh, that is the, the nostril so you do never ever ever put your nose band t at the level under where that um, bone stops growing because then you can get in the way and interfere with the horse's breathing and you do not want to cut off the oxygen while you're trying to ride them and exercise them it's not fair on the horse uh, so it's really important to make sure that I always make sure that my nose bands are just like a thumb above where that is gonna where that opening is for the nostrils uh, out of the skull every horse is different there's certain rules for certain horses that do particular things this horse is a really good horse very well broken in he's not a pest whatsoever and so he has a like just a reasonably loose uh nose band I, as long as i can fit two two three fingers in there like ideally you want two fingers so that's just nice neat and tidy so there we have it two two fingers there if that makes sense uh in between his jaw and the leather, the leather strap because you don't want it too tight some people do do them super tight so the horse can't open its jaw but i'm not a believer in that i you know but again people do that for all sorts of reasons i personally am not a believer of that um i like my horse to be able to chew and move its jaw and not feel restricted and jammed up um just i'd prefer my horse to be be ridden in comfort not being restricted okay and for the throat lash so i do his up on the third one he has just come here shrek just four four fingers there uh could go we could probably go actually what no thank you i know cheeky bones go up one more and yeah that's three fingers general rule of thumb is three fingers and then poke that back in 
So on this bridle for this horse, he is on two for the fourth for the throat lash, the last hole for his nose band, which is two, four, six, seven, the seventh hole. And on his nose band, he's like the third hole in, which is still nice and loose, got movement in it, but it's not ridiculously untidy, loose and fluffy about. It's snug. And then he's got his two, well, you got more one one ring here but if we go up one more it's a little bit too tight in his mouth so he performs really well this horse with his two folds of skin don't you think oh we've got to poke that in and always put your leather straps the excess leather straps back into the keepers to help keep the bridle neat and tidy and well presented no matter what discipline you're in you want to look neat and tidy and well presented there we have it ladies and gentlemen that's our video demonstration on how to adjust your bridle when you're putting it on your horse for the first time hope that was helpful thank you very much samantha for asking this question really appreciate you asking in the comment section it helps me make content and put it up on my channel so without further ado have a good day everyone again if anyone else has got any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i'll do the best the very best of my ability to make a video answer for you all right Shrek is chomping at the bit. He wants to go eat his loosened dessert because <laughs> he's this poor starved horse. All right, guys. Thanks. See you in the next video. Bye. Shrek, you want to say goodbye? Camera over here. Say goodbye to everyone. Ciao. Looks like where's the licorice? Should we give him a licorice? Let me take the bridle off now. Good boy, thank you. Need your licorice? Yes, 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 please. Good boy. Good boy, thank you, Shrek.